intelligent, gentle, and courageous. Undisputably America's most popular breed, the Labrador Retriever is not only a friendly companion, but also a useful working breed in the areas of rehabilitation, hunting, competition, and search and rescue expeditions. Hey guys, Dr. Peach here. In this video, I'm going to review the Labrador Retriever from a veterinarian's perspective in order for you to know exactly what to expect when deciding on getting a Labrador. Historically, they end their keep as fishermen's helpers by hauling nets, fetching ropes and retrieving fish from the chilly North Atlantic after which they returned home to spend time with the fisherman's family. The breed originated on the island of Newfoundland in the early 1700s and was brought over to England in the mid-1800s to where they developed into the distinct Labrador Retriever breed that we love today. And in 1991, the Labrador Retriever became the most popular dog breed registered with the American Kennel Club and they've held that distinction ever since. The Labrador excels in all forms of dog competitions, including show, field, agility and obedience. Built for sport, the Labrador is muscular and athletic and with his extraordinary sense of smell and courageous nature, he has the ability to bag game with speed and resilience. The coat is straight, dense and short, with the outer coat being a bit coarse and the under coat being thick and soft. This makes the Labrador almost completely waterproof and impervious to icy cold water, with the thick undercoat protecting the skin and the outer coat whisking water away. The Labrador Retriever has a strong hunting instinct and loves to roam. They are active, but calm and obedient if trained properly. Devotion to this breed runs deep. Labradors are loving, people-orientated dogs who love to serve their families. The lab's sweet nature makes them excellent therapy dogs, visiting the homes for the elderly and hospitals. And their intelligence makes them an ideal assistance dog that can easily be trained to help those with disabilities. Labs are outgoing, eager to please and friendly to both people and other animals. They are especially good with children, so they are very tolerable and playful. But as with every breed, you should never leave your dog no matter how friendly, unsupervised of a child. There is one job that labs are completely hopeless at, which is being a watchdog. As he will most probably greet the intruder with a wagging tail and cautiously show him where all the goods are stashed at. Grooming does not get much easier than with a lab, but they do shed a lot. Buy a quality vacuum cleaner and brush your dog daily, especially when they are shedding, to get out most of their loose hair. Labs are mouthy and really loves to eat, and therefore they can quickly become obese if their daily food intake is not properly monitored. Limit treats, give your lab plenty of exercise and measure out regular meals rather than leaving the food out all the time. They are known for foraging in the garbage bin and can quickly gulp down a small item such as a children's toy that can lead to a foreign body obstruction. So be sure to keep sturdy dog toys available at all times to keep them busy. They are not the best escape artists but can become distracted by an interesting smell. <laughs> that could lead to them taking off. So make sure your lab has been microchipped. They are definitely not backyard dogs and do not cope with small apartments. If left alone for too long, they might engage in destructive behavior such as barking, chewing and digging. They need both mental and physical stimulation and really do excel in obedience training. Be careful when exercising Labrador puppies as they can easily exhaust themselves. Keep training episodes short and sweet and do not allow them to run on slippery, surf slippery, surfaces. <coughs> slippery surfaces until they are at least two years old in order for their joints to fully develop. Feed them a high quality, low calorie diet that keeps them from growing too fast. They are also prone to ear infections. So if you notice that your lab starts to shake his head or tries to scratch his ear, rather take him to the vet to check it out before it becomes a big problem. The Labrador breed has a lifespan of 10 to 12 years. They are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they are prone to certain health conditions, of which obesity is probably the most common and important to take note of. The US President Bill Clinton owned a Labrador named Buddy, and the Russian President Vladimir Putin owned a Labrador named Kony. All in all, the Labrador Retriever is a well-balanced, affectionate, people-orientated breed with an average rating of... 8.1 out of 10. This breed is a top choice for families with children and makes excellent therapy dogs. But if you're looking for a vigilant guard dog, this is not the breed for you. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments if you own a Labrador Retriever and if you agree with my evaluation of this breed. And if you have any suggestions of what breed I should review next, 
make sure to drop them in the comments. And if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing as I'll be posting new videos on interesting pet related topics every week. As always, have a lucky day and I'll see you in another video next week. Cheers!